Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. Today I saw a video about interracial relationships and I started to watch it. I didn't finish it. I probably watched like five minutes of the video. And it was one of Crystal and Karazin's videos. Um, and I've only watched a couple of her videos, but I'm familiar with her and what she advocates. She's an African-American woman who not only advocates interracial relationships, she encourages black women to chase after white men, uh, to date white men, to marry white men, and all that. And she uses the term swirling to describe this phenomenon of interracial relationships. She's written books um, entitled Swirling, whatever. I don't know you know, the full title of her book, but I know Swirling is in her title. And the couple of videos that I've seen of hers, she introduces herself as the girl who swirls. So this woman has basically made an industry out of encouraging black women to date and marry white men. And I've done another video, you know, stating my position on this issue. And I won't fully go into it at this point, but I will raise a couple of points about this. When I was watching her video, you know, I just thought about how she's a very attractive woman. She's a beautiful woman. You know, despite the fact that I don't agree with hardly anything that comes out of her mouth, uh, she's an intelligent woman, an articulate woman. And there's no reason why a beautiful woman like her shouldn't be able to find a good black man. And from what I understand, she's married to some white guy and she has a couple of biracial children and all that. Well, one thing stood out when I was watching her video, um, and that's the fact that she has um, natural hair. You know, and we think of natural hair as an expression of black pride. You see a lot of women with afros and they have um, locks and other natural hairstyles that are beautiful. And, you know, they express their pride by wearing their natural hair. And many of them will wear African attire as well to express their pride. But I've found that many African-American women who are natural, unfortunately, they often date white men. And I see that as a contradiction. I don't think that you can truly have black pride if you run around chasing and pursuing white men. For me, that's um, an expression of hypocrisy. It's a contradiction. Because if someone truly loves and respects their race and themselves, and it seems like they would pursue men who are from their same race. You know, it seems like a black woman that has black pride would pursue a black man. And the same thing is true for African American men. You'll see African American men with locks, you will see them with afros, you will see them with. Um, African attire, wearing dashikis and all that kind of stuff. But these same black men will be chasing after white women. You know, in the words of the last poets, they're black power advocates during the day and white thigh supporters at night. You know, running around chasing white women with their tongue hanging out of their mouth. So I just want to hear your thoughts about this, you know, about this whole issue. Why do you think so many natural black women date white men? Why do you think so many supposedly pro-black black men run around chasing these white women? You have people that do videos even here on YouTube, talking all this black power stuff, 
but it turns out that these people chase white women. You know, I just think that that's uh, hypocritical, but I want to hear what you have to say about this issue. Peace.